Alright, welcome back to my next touch designer tutorial from the tips, tricks and FAQ series. And in this video I'm going to show you how to create these um, organic or hand-drawn looking circles and uh, like a few different examples also with these lines and with this beautiful box here. So um, I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate how it looks without the effect. So I'm going to bypass this. So this is just ten barring circles. And if I <coughs> turn on the effect that I'm going to show you or the technique, then it looks like ten a bit less barring circles. <laughs> and I think you can um like use use this technique for uh, other examples and lines as well but i'm just gonna show you that because because i can <laughs> and um yeah i'm not gonna talk too much for the introduction just get right into it and rebuild the whole thing with you all right so i'm gonna start off with a camera and not change anything about that and then drop a switch stop in here and from there on connect uh, geometry oops we're going to come back to to the sop part later i'm going to start off by setting up the rendering network by dropping a render and uh, on the render i'm going to change the resolution you don't have to do that and connect this through transform and a null. And as always, I'm going to call this BG. And on the transform, I'm going to change the background color alpha to 1. Say comp over background color on. And um, <coughs> I'm going to change the color from like black to a nice bright uh, orangey kind of color. So it looks a bit more like paper. And to make it even like look even more like paper I'm going to use a little trick that I showed before um, and that is adding uh, noise to this so I just dropped an, uh, an add top in here and I'm dropping a noise in here and uh, change the resolution to the same as my render so OP render one width just copy that, paste that in here, and change this to height. All right, now I'm going to change the um, <coughs> the um, type to random, and connect this to level, and then put that in there, and on the level change the opacity to 0.1. All right, so. Now you can just see that the background got a bit more uh, noisy, grainy, which I like. Um, all right, before we get to the displays uh, part or to the um, hand-drawn looking kind of part, I'm going to set up the different examples for, uh, with you. So I'm going to start going to start with a line sub. So I'm just dropping a line in here and change point A to uh, 0.2 and then connect this to a sub that I really like called the copy sub and then just put that in here so now we can see this beautiful line there and on the copy I'm going to change the number of copies to 250 and now what I want to do is to align these um, numbers these fifth uh, numbers these <laughs> lines these 50 lines in a circle so I'm going to do that by rotating them so if I rotate this I can see how this is kind of working but I want to um, spread them evenly on the circle so I'm going to do that by uh, using a little just a bit of Python so as you can see here uh, if you click on the number of copies you can see the Python name I'd say so NCY and now we can just use that and divide 360 so like a circle um, by 
<coughs> by that. So how, how do we call that? We just say me. So me is copy one, myself, like saying the copy saying me <laughs> uh, dot par like parameter and then ncy and then we just get that. So if, if I put 10 in here, it's going to be spread evenly. If I put like, uh, 100 in here, it's the same thing. But I just want 50. All right. So that's the first thing. Second thing is a circle. And on the circle, I'm going to change the divisions to 100 and the arc type to open arc. And then also connect this to a copy. And just say um, number of copies 10 and uniform scale 0.9. So every time this is copies, the, uh, every time this is copied, the uniform scale of the whole thing like, is just going to be come a bit a bit smaller. So I'm going to also drop this in here and then drop a box here and connect that to a transform. Also drop that in here on the transform. Just change this to 20 and minus 25. So we um, rotate it a bit and that's it. Now within the switch, we can just change between the different types. And now to actually have uh, just lines, because you can see here, this doesn't actually have lines. Um, this is actually uh, a real box. <laughs> I mean, the other one is also a real box, whatever. And um, for that, I'm just going to use the line mat. So go to the material, select the line, and drop that on here. So <coughs> now I'm going to change the width here. Now you can see you're in control of the width here. And you can also instantly see a problem that comes here. So. Before I show you that, on the line, I'm going to change the line near color to a blue with a less saturation, a bit darker. This kind of looks like ink. And um, you can see like the line uh, material works with um, depth, so like <coughs> camera depth, where, uh, like the distance from the camera to the object. So the farther it is away, the more like these uh, parameters basically say how the far um, line should look like or how the near line should look like. So I just want everything to be the same. If you don't want that, it's I, I totally accept that. But um, on the distance far, uh, like if you want everything to be the same, just change the distance far to something very high. Uh, or not very high, but just higher. <laughs> and um, now you can change the width near and <coughs> near, and it's all going to be the same. All right, so um, I'm going to get back to the circles and now show you how to actually create the organic effect. So um, as I do very often, I'm going to drop a displace in here and change the displace weight to 0.1 and um, then drop a noise. In here. I'm actually just going to take this noise and copy paste it and uh, change the type to simplex 3D and turn off the monochrome. So we have this beautiful noise here. And now I'm going to um, drop that in here. And you can see this is also a really cool effect. Kind of looks like an ink spot, but um, that's not what I want at the moment. So I'm going to change the amplitude to like 0 0.025. And um, one thing we're going to see now is these uh, ugly, uh, I'd say glitches or like rectangles, pixels, whatever, in there. <coughs> so how to how to get rid of that. <laughs> uh, go to the comment page on the noise and change the pixel format to 32 bit float, and then it's all nice and smooth. And now you can um, freely play around with the period or the harmonics um, to get different results. And, and now you can like switch between the different examples here to just see how
how, how they are affected differently. Um, yeah, and if you bypass the displays, you see the difference. Oops. So yeah, I think it's uh, it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, you can obviously really mess around and get uh, very interesting results. And um, yeah, as always, play around. <laughs> and yeah, thanks a lot for watching. That's it for today, and I see you on the next one.